I've been working on Chunky quite a bit, but now we've got a major setback. Well, fellas, this is not the type of video that I wanted to upload next, but I've had two major setbacks and I want to tell you about them. First of all, that carburetor that I put on turned out to be no good. The inlet for fuel, the threads where the filter goes, was completely stripped badly. And I had to go through an act of Congress to get Rock Auto to take that back for a warranty repair or a warranty replacement. So I shipped it back and today I got the replacement in the mail and I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw it. This is the exact thing that I was trying to avoid by going with a remanufactured instead of a new. This appears to be obviously just a cheap Chinese knockoff uh, Carter YF carburetor you can get these for like what 80 or 90 bucks brand new on amazon ebay but i spent the money to go with a remanufactured original the uh the first one i got was an original carter yf it had the gold um case it was stamped this though they send me a just a complete knockoff And I was, I was warned about this, and I didn't believe it, but now I'm a believer. They are sending junk Chinese knockoff carburetors. Now, why did I spend almost $200 for this when I could have had bought one straight off of Amazon for 80 or 90 bucks? Is there really any difference in this being remanufactured by Rem by you Remco and what I could easily just buy on, on Amazon? I don't know, but it's so disappointing to see this kind of thing. Now, here is where the other one was stripped. Also from Rock Auto, PCV valve, a new gas cap, and a new clutch fan. And did you know you could get fluids on Rock Auto? They only had six quarts at Walmart, so I picked up three more at Rock Auto. But look, Rock Auto, you did me dirty on this. The other big mess up is with the transmission. So as you saw in some of the other videos, I got the transmission to go in. Everything was fine. Uh, it was in the van for a week or two. And then I began to add fluid to it. I was told you could go ahead and put four and a half quarts in an empty um, transmission without spinning over. And then after you spin it over, you can begin to put the rest in. As soon as I started putting fluid in, this newly rebuilt transmission started leaking like crazy. As you can see here, we've put about a, what, is that a half a quart? A fluid that's just dripped in the past day and what's bad is it's not just leaking from one place but two different places it's coming out of the end of the shaft here around that nut in the middle and it was also leaking from right here that reverse servo it's just coming out like crazy 
I couldn't believe my eyes. How could this happen? So, long story short, this has got to come back out. I'm going to take it back to the transmission shop that did it and have them fix it. So these are the type of things that you have to deal with when restoring an old vehicle. It's really demoralizing, but you just have to keep seeing the, the big picture and knowing that the end result will be worth it. Um, but what's so aggravating about it all is that you try to do the best of the best. You spring for the extra money to buy the remand carburetor instead of the cheap Chinese junk. And what do you get? The cheap Chinese junk anyway. You go ahead and have the transmission rebuilt, even though you've never even tested the transmission, but you know it's been, you know, sitting in the woods for 25 years. Why not just go ahead and rebuild the transmission? And then you put it in and it leaks like crazy. So guys, I'm disappointed, disheartened, but I've just got to keep moving forward one step, one foot in front of the other type of thing. So wish me luck as I continue on this journey to get this van back on the road. And I will leave you with this satisfying new gas cap.